Hi everyone, we're in Algonquin Park this weekend. Welcome back to our 250 bird challenge, where we're trying to see 250 different species of bird this year. We're on the Spruce Bog Boardwalk Trail at the moment, and we just had an encounter that was quite amusing with a spruce grouse. Nice but Yeah, gorgeous. Shake it again. Yesterday was Saturday, February the 4th, which is when we arrived at Algonquin Park, but it was minus 40 with the wind chill. That's minus 40 centigrade and Fahrenheit. So cold that it hurt my face, it hurt my hands, so we didn't do any filming yesterday. We're hoping for some more luck today. Spruce grouse so far is pretty cool, but we're hoping to see some more species that we would find further north in Ontario at this time of year. The trail's quite snowbound, so we're just kind of sticking our head into each one and seeing what we see in the first few hundred yards. So we finished the Spruce Bog Boardwalk Trail. Where are we headed to next, Sarah? I'll probably go to the visitor centre next. And we might be a little bit cheeky and just take a look. There's bird feeders there, but they seem to be quite active over the last few days from reports that we've seen. And there's a webcam stream you can look at too. Um, evening grow speaks, woodpeckers, lots of chickadees, of course, nut hatches. So we'll take a look at that next, I think. In this shot you can see two woodpeckers. On the left is a downy woodpecker, on the right is a hairy woodpecker. A new bird this year and a new addition towards our target count of 250 birds. These species look pretty similar, they're both black and white with similar patterns. The downy on the left has a red patch on the back of the head because it is male. This particular hairy woodpecker on the right lacks the patch because it is female, but the patch is present on hairy woodpeckers too. The hairy is much larger, but if you see them on their own, it can be hard to tell which species it is. So in isolation, the best way to ID these woodpeckers is to look at the bill. The downy has a proportionally small bill. Check out the bill on the hairy, it's about the same length as the bird's head. Hard to tell from this angle, so let's pull up this photo and that will illustrate it more clearly to you. Oh, you come all the way to Algonquin just to find a hairy woodpecker. 
That's the first of the year. We can get those in the Toronto area, but we just happened not to have seen them so far. But it was cool to get up close and personal with the evening growth speaks too. We're going to head to Opiongo Lake now. Stay tuned because I want to tell you guys about a close encounter with a hawk that I had uh, about uh, a week or so ago. If you're enjoying this video, please consider subscribing. Hit the subscribe button and you'll get updates when I post new videos. Stay tuned. Opiongo Lake next. Algonquin Park had seen an accumulation of snow, and although Opiengo Lake Road had been ploughed about halfway along, that was as far as we needed to go in order to investigate talk of Canada Jays. Thing is, I only drive a front-wheel drive hatchback, and I'm too stubborn and British to buy winter tyres which have more tread than normal all-season tyres. A lot of my Canadian viewers and Canadian friends and family will be watching this and shaking their heads or enjoying a touch of schadenfreude because when we got to a parking area there were no available spots. When I was forced to reverse back out, my front wheel got stuck in deep snow. It was a frustrating endeavour to get the car out but after shoving a floor mat under the wheel and a passerby helping us, we were free. Suffice to say I didn't film any of that. But we did eventually see some Canada Jays, a quite iconic bird in Algonquin Park. Really? <laughs> They've been studied for decades and they are all banded. The population is sadly in decline. The leading theory on why this is happening is that climate change is causing Algonquin winters to be warmer. Canada Jays like to cache their food, but much of what they hide is perishable. Warmer winter temperatures and more frequent freezing and thawing lead to their food stores spoiling. Okay, we're just finishing up at Apiango Lake. It was a bit of a disaster for a while. The car got stuck in snow. Somebody refuses me to have snow tires and tries to drive in places like this full of snow with all season tires. And we got stuck, but some people helped us out. And then we saw Canada Jays, so it turned around. So we've seen Canada Jays. We have seen uh, spruce grouse. Those are two of the birds we wanted to see. Next, we would try, we'd like to try to see a black-backed woodpecker. If you watched this channel for a while, you know that I would have seen one here last year at the um, Logging Museum Trail, and that's where we're going to go next. I still haven't told you about the hawk encounter. Stay tuned, I'll tell you in a few moments. Okay, I think that's it for this video. Unfortunately, no black-backed woodpecker. But if you'd like to see it, go back and watch my previous video from Algonquin where we saw one back in May last year. We have to head home now, so I'll say goodbye to you, but I am going to leave you with footage of a red-tailed hawk that landed on the balcony at home a couple of weeks ago. I think it probably saw my cat, his name is Simon. He was relaxing in the window, and the next thing we know, there's a hawk staring at him. So I'll leave you with that. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a subscribe. There'll be more videos coming soon. This was a bit of a shorter one. We were cut down to one day because of the sub, sub, sub zero temperatures on the first day of our trip. Thank you for watching. Stay warm and happy birding.